Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carla Melissa and it's Vlogmas. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> yes, it's Vlogmas. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Before we even get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the family who doesn't want to stay inspired, motivated, and uplifted. I know I do, Tommy. Like, come on. All right, guys. Y'all seen the title. Y'all know what's up. We about to get into this Saturday house bag. I might cut the shot. Okay, so this is the box that it came in. It's rather large, quite huge, in fact. And I'm going to show you how it was packaged in here. No filling or anything like that. So the bag could have just been flopping around or whatever. But, you know, life goes on. Here's the bag. Um, it's in one of those reusable shopping bags. It's a Saturday house shopping bag. I mean, at least they're making sure you're going to have branding everywhere you go. All right. They put a cute little thank you card in there. It's a bag. There's no care instruction on this bag. I'm not sure if that matters. Um, this is my first vegan bag. So, yeah. It's cute, though. And now to the bag. So, it's in this dust bag. The dust bag, really, quite frankly, is not um, of that great quality. I won't be using it. Um, no shade, though. At least, you know, there were layers. And then here's my beauty. This is the 35 size. And yeah, I'm just inspecting it because this was a true unboxing. <laughs> and here's the key. Um, it has a little protective cover. So yeah, that's neat. And this is it, just a little bit up close. Cute little design again. It's very much so a fake Birkin, so yeah. Um, the hardware is in fact silver. I know it might not look that way, but it is. You can fast forward to the story time if you want to know more about that. And then I just open up the bag. You have to do a lot of lifting, a lot of unlatching and all that. So very secure, but also possibly frustrating to fumble with. So, you know, pick your poison. The bag came stuffed with paper. I threw the paper away. I will not be stuffing the bag with paper. I don't know if it affects vegan leather, but I do know that paper can hold moisture, which can cause mold inside your bag, and I ain't got time for that. So I just will replace the paper with, um, like, the air paper. It's not real paper. It's like the bubble wrap. It comes with a strap. Later on, I'll find out where the holes are. It also came with a lock. And the color is like this flesh color sort of nude. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's the unboxing portion of this bag. Now let's jump into the rest of the video. But I'm just going to give you guys the rundown. I'm going to let y'all know what my experience was like. Let y'all know what's going on. Let y'all see the bag. And so y'all can make educated decisions. Now, as a disclaimer, I did not do any research on other people's experience as far as purchasing from her. So, in the event that there's other videos like this out there, and y'all be like, girl, duh, I'm, don't come for the kid. All I know is I saw one person on YouTube had one of the bags that I thought was nice. She always talks very highly about it. So, I felt like, oh, okay, cool. And I've been following um, Sonic Saturday and Saturday House for a while. And I've liked her work since what I feel like was the beginning. Um, so I was like, I might as well just go ahead and grab a bag now that they got the color I've been dying for to come back in stock. Um, and that is the new Kim. Ta-da! Yes, these are the infamous, you fake like these Birkin bags. They have been shown on celebrities like Tabitha Brown, Tracy Ellis Ross, Guy Jackson, and so many more. Um, yes. Uh, as a disclaimer... This is not a bashing video. This video is simply for information purposes only. It's to inform you of my experience. I do not know that this is a common experience. I do not know that this will be your experience. This is just what happened to me. And it's for you to decide what you want to deal with or whatever. What I can say is the bag is very nice. I really don't have too many complaints other than the fact that um, there wasn't any protective hardware like protective covering on the hardware however i did see someone 
post their bag with the protective plastic on there. And honestly, I would have taken it off anyway. So it's not the end all be all. Yeah, but it does come. It has a lock. So let me just show you guys the bag real quick. Um, it's very much so like a Birkin. It does come with a lock. So let me just open it up. And you know, you just open it and you lift and you lift and you pull and you pull and you pull and you lift and it's open very secure but not something that i think that i would want to have to go in and out of the bag comes when it comes it's stuffed with paper i do not leave paper in my bags um because they can hold moisture and then cause mold and stuff like that and i got time for it i will be having air paper i just didn't have enough at the time that's what i mean by the protective plastic this had it but the rest of the hardware did not um, so it comes with a lock. The, the key to the lock is in this little thing here. I don't know what these are called, but those are common in these bags. And it slides up. It's a little hard to, it wasn't this thick as it does it, but whatever. So it slides up like so. And then you could unlock your lock. Um, I wouldn't say that this lock feels like the most secure lock. If I'm being honest, it doesn't give me like the highest quality as far as the lock goes. So yeah, don't be surprised if your lock comes off respectfully. It also comes with a strap, which confuses me because I don't see any hooks for the strap. I haven't opened it, but it comes with a leather strap that matches the bag. Oh, okay. I found the hook. Oh, that's neat. Okay, that's what I was going to say, but I don't think I would be wearing this crossbody. It's so big. But on the side, it has an, a reinforced hole for you to put the strap on, which is a neat feature, especially if you have one of the smaller bags, in my personal opinion. But if you're someone who is bigger than me, I'm 5'1". So a 35 is a big bag for me. Like, look. Look at me in the bag. Um, but... If you're someone who is taller than me or bigger than me, this might be a more everyday, like, perfect size for your body type. In which case, that would make this a great crossbody bag. And so, now you can have confidence in wearing this bag crossbody. The inside is, I guess, a salmon color. I'm not really sure how to describe that. But, yes, it has a pocket with a zip pocket. Um, a decent amount of space. Let's see if the phone can fit in there. Um, my iPhone 11 can fit in there. And then it has a non zip pocket that is a decent size too. My phone can fit in there as well. So there you have it. And that is the bag. And when you close it, you lift, you latch. Right, you put everything through its corresponding hole, and then you pull the strap tight, like so. And that is how you fuss with the bag. Now, to give you some specs, like I said, this bag goes for five fifty. Um, they say on their website that it can take up to like seven days to process a bag. I ordered mine on the thirtieth of November. Technically, it processed by the 2nd because I got the shipping email with all that information. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my goodness, look at this. But then it said it was going to deliver by the 7th. And on the 7th, it had no movement, nothing. I reached out to UPS, which is what service they use for me. I don't know if it changes based on where it's going or size or anything like that. But for me, they were using UPS. UPS said they never received the bag. I contacted them on the 8th. To find all this out because the seventh was the delivery date and it didn't come um and they responded to me they have they take 24 to 48 hours to respond so i wrote them on the 8th they responded to me on the 9th and they said to me they were just about to reach out to me about my item Bruh. now originally i ordered the new cam with the gold hardware but apparently they didn't have it even though i was able to place the order um they said they did still have the new Kim with the silver hardware. So if I wanted that to let them know and they'll move forward with it. So I said, okay. I looked at the pictures and realized that most of the pictures I saw were the silver hardware anyway. And I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. Now some stuff I'm not going for silver hardware. 
I'm not typically a silver hardware person, but this bag actually, you can't always tell that it's silver or gold. It just depends on the way the light hits it. So I didn't mind at all. So I'm like, okay, you can send it or whatnot. And this is on the 9th. I responded back to them in a healthy time frame, not to mention they're in California, so their time is behind me. So, yeah. They didn't get back to me by end of business day, so I checked my shipping. My shipping had updated to a different delivery date, but it still didn't show any movement. So on the following Monday, they emailed me and said they would let me know when it shipped, which I thought was weird considering my shipping information updated. But they hadn't emailed me back, so I thought that maybe they didn't see my email or whatnot. I wrote them back. I'm like, um, is it possible you can let me know when to expect this to ship, etc. Blah blah blah. They get back to me and they call me Jody instead of Joy, um, and they say they track the package and it's expected to be delivered by the 16th. Have I received my tracking information? But in the thread. I already stated I had my tracking information in the beginning of this whole debacle. Um, so I reached out to UPS and UPS was basically like, we don't know or whatnot. So I was quite upset. I basically expressed somehow disappointed I was in the customer service. UPS is not showing that they have the bag or any updates. It just still says that the label was created. Um, my name is not Jody. My order number doesn't say Jody. Um, my email doesn't say Jody. My signature doesn't say Jody, so I don't know who Jody is, but if you were reading, you would know that that ain't me, period. Not to mention, I had to reach out to them to know that there was something going on with my order, and now they're just not communicating, and they're taking 24 hours at a time to respond to me. I went in basically asking, is there more than one customer service rep? Does this need to be escalated at this point? I want overnight shipping or my, some of my money back, like something, because this is ridiculous. They immediately respond same day. This is the only day that they responded the same day. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm on an iPad. Um, it auto-corrected. I have a long name, so I, I know how it feels to demand respect for your name to be correct. Uh, you should have the bag by tomorrow, blah, 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 etc. The bag came the next day. I have no idea if they ended up overnighting it or not. But when the bag came, it was in a huge box. It came in a dust bag. And... Um, it didn't come with like a box for the bag or anything like that. The dust bag wasn't a quality dust bag per se. Um, and they had it in like one of those uh, like cotton or eco-friendly reusable bags. So the bag was in a reusable bag and it was in this huge box with no... Um, no stuffing, no wrapping, no nothing. Um, and the box was way bigger than the bag, so the bag could have been fumbling around. Um, so I wasn't very impressed with the packaging. And I wasn't very impressed with the customer service. However, I would like to believe that most people don't have to experience customer service. I hope not. I hope this was just one of those that fell through the cracks moment. But that was my experience. However, I'm very happy to have this bag. Um, it's a very pretty bag. It's a very pretty bag, but I don't know that I would go for another one this size. If I did go for another one, it would be a smaller size, and I would want to see what my experience with that bag is like, or experience ordering that bag is like, and go from there. However, she cute. I haven't named her yet, but I'm probably going to name her after a vegan. I'll probably name her Hallie, because... Hallie Bailey is a vegan, and I like her a lot. So I think her name's going to be Hallie. She gives me Hallie energy, and Hallie is much like me, which means she gives me me energy, so that's probably going to be her name, Hallie Bailey. I name all my backs, yes. But, okay, if this video was helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, do you have a Saturday house bag? Do you love it? Did you have this experience? What's up? Give me the tea. Share it with the girls. Um... You've made it this far, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. You're already family, so you might as well stay a while. If you're feeling fancy, go ahead and turn on the notification bell. You can follow me on all social media, just like it is here. I made it real easy for you to whoop, copy, and boop, paste it, and 
Y'all know how this goes. Until next time, y'all. Peace.